Kimmelol drops, please. Do you have a prescription? I have a credit card. Well, I'm prohibited from dispensing medication without a prescription. What's your name? Sally Tishel. Beth Trawick. Yes, hello. Trawick is the Americanized version of Trawick, a Cornish surname. As far as I can tell, my people left here in the 1860s to seek a better life abroad. Well, my family were perfectly happy to stay where they were. That makes you think, though. Hmm? Tishel, Trawick, you know, for all we know, we could be distant cousins. Related. So, how about you help me out, cuz? No prescriptions, no medicine. Fine. Well, if you won't help me, maybe your husband will. I need some Timolol. I'm not her husband. We have a connection. No, we don't. Do you have glaucoma? Yes, and all I need are some drops. No, you need a prescription. Fine. How do I get a prescription? You have to see the doctor. And where's the doctor? I'm the doctor. And you live with a pharmacist? What? No, I don't live with her. I was seeing her husband. Whatever you say. Uh, make sure he keeps up with the light daily exercise and keep an eye on his medication. Um, can you just examine me here so I can get some drops, please? No, make an appointment. Thank you, doctor. Will there be anything else, Beth? I guess not. American. Here I am. Did you make an appointment? You have a space. I wasn't talking to you. No, but there's a cancellation. Not Mr. Belland. No show again. Typical. What is the matter with you people? Come through. You let him speak to you like that? He speaks to everyone like that. Well, I hope he pays you well for the privilege. <laughs> you know, a great woman gave this book to me and told me when I was finished to pass it on to someone else. You are that someone else. Yeah, I'm not really into self-help books. Oh, yeah, girl, because you're doing so well without them. Give this a chance. And hey, if it doesn't work, you can always hit him across the face with it. <laughs> Next patient! Good luck. Come through. Take off your camera, roll up your sleeve, and take a seat. You know that the drops go in the eye, right? Not the arm. I have to check your pulse and your blood pressure. Timolol is a beta blocker. If there's any problem with your heart, I can't prescribe you that medication. It slows the pulse. Sleep. Believe me, my heart is fine. 25 years of marriage, fine. Making that work. I'm wondering if this is it, if this is life. And one morning, I just woke up and bought a plane ticket and came out here. I've never felt better. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not crying. It's just... I have a... I have a garden variety asthma, and these hills around here have got me a little breathless, that's all. Why are you taking Timolol? Because my doctor prescribed it, and, and he's a good doctor. Really? How would you know? He's very expensive. I see. Really, you should have known that some beta blockers can trigger severe asthma attacks. I'll prescribe you latanoprost, which is what your physician should have done if he wasn't working out the back of a covered wagon. Oh. No. And I always heard that the Brits were so nice and polite. What do I owe you? You don't owe me anything. Well, thank you. Do you know what some experts and healers have stated is the best medicine a person can have? A simple smile. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Your accent's very thick. Here's your prescription. 